you're not going to have a billion soul harvest unless people are shaken awake. How do you shake them awake? Well, you have a financial collapse. Uh, people are freaking out about the finances. Banks get closed. Because what's a jubilee? Ba debt destruction. So you're going to have debt destruction, banks shutting down, people losing everything, and then the earth is shaking. So the shaking is necessary for the awakening. God is showing the world right now signs. And next comes shaking. Live from America's heartland, this is the Daily Truth Report with your host, Noah Christopher. Hey, welcome back to the Daily Truth Report. I am Noah, and I've got our good friend Bo Polney back on the show with us today. We I had to get him back on because we've got some big updates in crypto that we're going to talk about and a lot more. So, uh, Bo, welcome back to the show. Hi, Noah. Good to see you or good to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Well, it's good to see you for sure. And uh, uh, I always like to say before we get started, uh, since you are the man of time that and these things get re-uploaded and shared around. Uh, it's March 20th, as we're talking today, 2024, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin here in just a minute, but Bitcoin is just under $63,000. We're going to talk about why that's important in a minute, but uh, had to have you back on because your newsletter has been absolutely on fire. Uh, it, it always is, but man, the last couple of weeks, uh, and since we talked last time, I think it was about two weeks ago. I mean, you, you just you just hit it perfectly. So I, I think, Bo, if you're okay with it, what I'd like to do is um, show everybody what you've put together and, and how crazy accurate this was. Sure, that'd be fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So let me share my screen. And here. I do want to state this too also. You know, as much as it's fun to watch this happen, it's crazy because to me, it's just, it blows my mind when I watch it happen. Like I write something, I don't write in my reports. So you know this for years already when I write my reports. I just, I don't say if this happens, then that could happen. Because that's pretty much any analyst that'll ever write a report. What, what do they write? If this you know, maybe target is reached, then we can see that. Or if there's a lot of ifs and thens. My report, I don't think I've ever said the word if and then in my reports in the past couple of years, at least. I basically, what's, what's my report written? It says, on the, you know, Bitcoin is in a, say, up or down cycle. It's going to continue on that direction up until on or about this date. When this date hits, it's going to turn, it's going to go down mm -hmm. into on or about this date. Like, tell me, isn't that what was written in these reports? Well, that's exactly right. And, and what I want to do is, I think you've got it in here. Let me go to it. I, I want to show everybody this. Let me zoom in here even a little bit. And uh, there we go. So this is your report, your your private newsletter. We've blacked out a few things out of respect for um, your paying subscribers, but uh, we wanted to show as much as we could here. So this is, as I said, today is, is March uh, 20th. So this is looking back on your report from March 8th. Uh, so 12 days ago. And I, I just want to read it here really quick because you nailed the all-time highs that you nailed the wave up. And then you told everyone, hey, you know, just as everyone's getting all excited, oh, we're going to go up even more and this is great and whatever. And they said, well, hang on. There's a there's a turn down coming. Here's when it's going to happen. Uh, and so let me just read this. It says, uh, so this is, if, if anybody is a current uh, member of your newsletter, they can see this in the, in the reports. They, I'm sure they got it and they read it uh, when you released it on March 8th. Um, if anybody uh, decides they want to join and, um, get your newsletter. They can go back and see the historical archives. Uh, I love that they're all in there and you're an open book. So anyone can see this and verify it. But so let me just read this. On March 8th, you said, as March began, Bitcoin and the altcoins jumped vertical in price as expected. And today, March 8th, Bitcoin made a new all-time high at 70,184 so far, exactly as forecasts about early March, way back in December of 2023. So that is all I mean, I, I've lived it. I've read these reports and we've had you on the show. And I, as I said, people can go back and verify this. But you told us back in December, there's a new all-time high coming in early March. You told us it's going to be on or about, uh, you know, these dates. And then, and then, boom, we hit it. But then I, I think the part that I was more, even more blown away with is when you told everybody when it's going to turn down. So that's the, the highlighted part. You said, however, near term, the up cycle is running out of time. And a mini cycle high is expected on or about this coming Monday, March 11th. And that is likely to be followed by a, a down cycle expect, expected to end on or about. And then we've blacked that out. 
So that is exactly when Bitcoin, it may be within a, within a day or so, and you say on or about, um, that's exactly when all of a sudden everyone's watching for it to just keep going up. And, uh, you know, we're all excited and having a great time. But I knew that you had said this, so I'm watching. And sure enough, it goes from, it was at 73,000. I can just pause for a minute. I'm looking, I'm looking at the Bitcoin chart right here. And so on the 11th, March uh, 11th, just as we've written in there, Bitcoin topped on March 11th, made a high at 72,900. Yep. It pulled back on the 12th and on the 13th, pushed a tiny bit higher to 71,400. So basically four, four or 500 bucks more. And then boom, it just turned and it would drop like $12,000. Yeah, that's exactly right. Here, let me... Let me uh... Let me share this with everybody so they can see it. What I actually wrote in my report was actually interesting. Just past couple of reports, what I write, I said, you know, Bitcoin dropped twelve thousand dollars. Yay, right? Like I'm, I'm. <laughs> why am I celebrating? I go, why? Because the cycle's perfect. You see what I'm saying? The cycle's perfect. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, and, and if it didn't turn down, that would actually not be a great thing because we want the pattern to continue to play out. So this is wild. You know, we are watching, uh, like, you know, when you read Ecclesiastes, it, this is fascinating to me as much as it is to my viewers or my subscribers. Why? Because we're watching it together in real time. I write this, I, I write it out based on what I'm seeing in the, and what God, again, not what I, what, I don't like to use the word I, but God showed me where to look in cycles and patterns. And so, you know, when you see, when you know what pattern that, when what historic cycle is replaying, because Ecclesiastes states that which has been will be again. So, if you know what pattern and cycle of time to look at in history, you overlay that and you'll know my reports exactly are that. I show historic cycle at the top of what happened historically years ago, and then I put on present day pattern or pet present day price movement. And when you all you need to do is look forward from the present day and you'll and you'll know what's coming. And so what happened? You know, it did. It 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 was exactly uh, it made a cycle high on the eleventh, pulled back. Uh, on the 12th, and they made a little tiny, tiny bit higher on the 13th, and then boom, we're we're down whatever, maybe 12, 10 to 12 thousand uh, dollars since you know. And the pattern's not over yet; it's still it's still it's going to head a little, you know, it's going to head deeper. So and, you know, and my subscribers, we've all got a date. So like this is just like you sit back and you just enjoy the ride because y you know what's coming. It's it's incredible. And I would just ask you this one thing: since you get the re reports, Noah, at what point when you read my reports and then you know what's coming? Do you have, is there any fear, like psychological fear because of, of Bitcoin's price movement? Think about it. Is there any psychological fear? And because you know what's coming. So do you have any psychological fear at all with, to, uh, you know, putting your, fi your finances on, on cryptocurrencies? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and I think the funny thing is, I think I, I uh, messaged you when it was going down and I said, "Boy, I can't believe you you nailed it right again." I, and I was I was kind of almost excited and to to be saying that it's going down. So it's it's kind of funny when you when you know that to expect that uh, it really changes your perspective. Um, but you know when you look at this chart here, um, sometimes it's hard to tell on a chart. I mean, this doesn't look too crazy, but uh, when you really look at it, seventy three thousand there, and then it went all the way down to sixty one. That's a huge, huge move. And a lot of people might be saying, if they don't get your report, they might say, oh gosh, I missed it. It's never going to go back up. And now I guess I'd better sell it. And, you know, we don't, I can't give trading advice and, and you, you only talk about timing cycles. Everyone has to, you know, figure out their own stuff, but it's, it's really great to have your, your perspective in that report to know what you see in the cycles. Um, and actually, Bo, I have a question for you. Um, I asked, everybody, I, I told everybody you were coming on today and I asked them if they had any questions for you. And one, uh, one guy, let's see, it's Cody. Shout out to Cody, Cody G. Um, he, he said, Hey, I've got a question. Uh, if you would ask Bo and uh, Bo, I don't think I've ever asked you this, but what you do is so unique where you apply the biblical cycles, uh, to, uh, the finance world and to charts and you know how to look at the old charts and where to look and to find these patterns. Cody said, um, how did you start? How did you ever start doing that? Applying biblical patterns towards investing. <laughs> I actually still, it's, it's kind of a complicated, but not, it's got, I really got to think back to how it all began, but ultimately I do know specifically that I started using this pattern analysis for precious metals and all of it really began, can, it stems back to 9-11. 
So when 9-11 happened, it kind of freaked me out because, you know, I read that prophecy of Nostradamus and, you know, how could somebody write about the future? And the only way that, you know, because it talks about the, the two brothers of York, right? So when you, if, if prophecy is true, that means that nothing in the future is random. Think about that. If prophecy is true, then nothing in the future is random. And, you know, the, and I always go back to reference the greatest prophecy I think was ever written was a prophecy, a Daniel 2 prophecy. It's a two and a half thousand year prophecy talking about specifically all the kingdoms, Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, the papacy, right? So all this really started when I started, um, and when the 9-11 happened, I started looking at, you know, I just, I've kind of, my parents historically, you know, always in the 70s got into precious metals. So I knew, you know, uh, a hedge against, uh, craziness in the world is cryptocurrency. Sorry, no, it was gold and silver at the time, uh, and so I, I really just started analyzing the patterns. I'm like, well, I wonder if you can, like, you know, foretell uh, what might happen in the future. And I, I nailed some incredible um, turns uh, way back that you know, then maybe 10, 15 years ago. But uh, and I also made you know th uh, thousands of mistakes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's there not none of this is easy you know so now we're we're looking at 15 years of of of, of understanding of how these patterns and cycles work so now you know subscribers get this report that looks easy to, to read it's like oh, that's easy. you know that's pretty simple to understand if you if you look back at all, all the patterns for the past six eight you know it's incredible to look now because this is like years and years of uh you know what's what's that saying you know of um school of hard knocks as as they call it right mm -hmm. so uh and then and then that, it really got to the point where i was able to god sh and then i started realizing wait a second you know this is god's money so i wonder if there's a relation and correlation to something there's you know, things that are written in the bible and that's when i really started getting fascinated because it wasn't just the patterns anymore so before i was just doing day counts and patterns then I start, then the kind of the revelation came that when you start looking deeper and you start, wait a second, there's a prophecy of Daniel. And then Daniel talks about seven years. Like, oh yeah, but you really can't divide seven years because that doesn't make sense. Because like seven, half of seven is three and a half. And yeah, the Bible talks about three and a half years, but it's not like a really, uh, not like a normal number, three and a half. But then the revelation started coming through that uh, if you take seven years, it's actually 84 months. So like, hmm. Well, they divide that by two, then you get 42. Hmm. Well, you divide 42 again, you get 21. Hmm. And you divide 21 by seven, because you're back to seven, and you get three. So you're back to seven and three. So you start, so the circle starts over again. And then I started realizing, wait a second, this, we're starting to see a repeating pattern here on the seven when you divide it. And so what I then realized from the year 2020, this is crazy. Year 2020, you can take 21 months from the year when Bit when gold started its up cycle. Every 21 months, roughly, give or take a few, uh, you know, maybe a week here or there. Uh, every 21 months, gold would top. So how would how was that happening? And then you know, then you realize you know none of this is random. It's all by design. And then so then that then I took so long story short. And after all that. I took my understanding of what I learned with precious metals and applied it to cryptocurrencies, which really, to specifically to Bitcoin, which is not manipulated to the degree precious metals are, because precious metals have been in lockdown for generations. Okay, so precious metals kind of got a little boring to study. And so using my knowledge or understanding, I applied that to Bitcoin and boy, did my eyes open up? It's been an incredible journey ever since, and I started this uh, when Bitcoin was at four to six hundred dollars. So it's been a it's been a one heck of a blessing, uh, one heck of a fantastic ride. Um, uh, watching it go from four to six hundred dollars all the way up to seventy thousand dollars here to new all time highs in March. So yeah, it's been an incredible ride. Um, you know, I, I am not a hundred percent, but I probably have uh, the most accurate. You know, I say, I, God revealed to me. I want to give get God, God the glory always. But, you know, the accuracy of my reports, I don't think there's anybody in the world, anybody in the world that has even even near the accuracy and, and the amount of correct uh, predictions to, to literally the exact day or within 24 hours. There's probably this point, you know, I don't know, huge numbers. I've never got back and counted, but there's the, the accuracy is... Uh, and the, the amount of um, accurate uh, 
turns we've had over the past three, four years is is mind blowing. Uh, and, and that's why, you know, we have this, and uh, you've seen it, Noah, you've had our subscription for at least of two, three years now. And, and I know I just, <laughs> you just call me up or you text me. You're like, I can't believe what's going on. You nailed it again. And it's not me nailing it again. It's just, you know, God, uh, you know, God's the creator of all things. And when you know where to look, um, you know, you, you know, God, God brings peace uh, and joy. And, you know, uh, I think those that follow what I write, um, have peace and have joy. Hey, well, there we go. Cody, there's your answer. And great question. Thanks for sending that in because I don't think we've ever heard that story before. And uh, it's something I've been curious about too. So uh, thanks for that. And now I guess we know why, Bo, your company is called and your website is Gold 2020 Forecast. It started with gold. It started with precious metals. You've expanded that out into uh, cryptocurrency. But um, and, and I think maybe you've told me before, but um, Gold 2020 Forecast. It, there's something special about the 2020, right? Why, why is it? Yes, because I, st I started it seven years before 2020 and God, re I heard very clearly that 2020, uh, the year is, is the time point in our world where our world will change forever. And <laughs> well, <there you. laughs> well, how about that? I, I'd, I'd say you got that one on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, I'm not interested in changing it because it's perfect. It's the beginning of the end. The, tw the year 2020 starts the beginning of the end. And you know, and then I've got a book coming out. Basically, it, it takes you forward in time, and and, and it's incredible. Like, all of this is not random. It's all by God's perfect design. And um, you know, anybody can look back in your life. You know, when when 2020 hit, your life and your world as you knew it changed forever. Why? Because it's related now. And you know, I didn't really know in seven years prior to 2020 what it would be, right? But what 2020 ended up being is is the beginning of the end. It's the it's it's literally the the time when you know the seals began to open, and that uh, from a scriptural biblical standpoint was when Corona came on the scene, and everything we knew has changed forever. So those that are looking for life to get back to normal, um, I have bad news for you. It's not. Mm -hmm. uh, it, our life is going to turn. Uh, it, it's going to be. We're going to have a window of divine favor. Uh, it, everything we know is going to change. But ultimately, we're never going to have. We're never going to have peace on the earth or joy unspeakable uh, until re the return of Christ. Um, so you know, those that are looking for things to get back to normal, um, uh, you know, again, again, it's just you know, read. It's not my. It's not my news. It's just what's in the Bible read it and you'll come to realize that's what god has ordained what god has ordained no man can stop from manifesting yeah no that's that's great well uh I, I wanted to start with talking about some crypto because i was just so blown away that you got not only the upside but the downside and then another future upside is coming so we'll we'll uh we'll come back to crypto and talk about that a little bit at the end too and talk about maybe what's in store uh next but uh let me go. Uh, maybe we'll go back right now to the rest of your report because you've got some amazing things in here, um, as always, but um, some really good stuff. And uh, maybe I'll give everybody this page right here. So you can, if you want to scan that QR code, you can get this uh, slide deck presentation. Um, it's Bo gives all this out for free. So uh, it's on my screen, but you can also get a copy of it yourself. I know a lot of people download these every time we talk about it. So you can scan that QR code or you can just. The link should be below this video wherever you're watching it. So go ahead and uh, grab this. But um, Bo, you got a lot of new things in here. Um, we we want to talk about Kim Clement. We want to talk about um, we want to talk about this upcoming eclipse. We want to talk about uh, updating uh, uh, upcoming dates on the calendar that you're watching. So why don't you take us away? Sure. Um, <clears throat> I heard very clearly uh, yesterday. I'm like. I've got a, I had several podcasts coming up this week, and I'm thinking, you know, what, what's a good title? I'm like, and usually like three in the morning, I wake up, I'm like, it's a good title, and I'm hearing the word, oh my god! I'm like, I think that's a very good title, mm. and 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 really, you know, what I was hearing was people, you know, what I'm hearing is people screaming, oh my god! You know, and what do you do when when you're in a state of uh, of, of confusion, chaos? craziness going on in the world, uh, biblical things manifesting, people shout out to God. Mm -hmm. That is what's coming. We're in a time point where darkness will meet the light. Now, this is going to be a, a moment in time the world's never going to forget. 
And when this happens, this is literally God the Father, the Creator, stepping off of His throne. The foundation of this earth is going to be shaken. It's it, whatever is God has planned. And this is the thing is, I don't know. But I'm going to show you through calculations how in the Bible, there's three things about the Bible. The first thing about the Bible is the written word, okay? Well, the written word you always want to use to get an understanding of, you know, of things of, of old because the Bible is the, it's, it's the word. It's the word of Jesus, and it talks about things that have happened and things that are, are, come, are to be yet or things that are coming. But if you only read the Bible, and I've said this before, if you're only reading the Bible, you're truly religious. And the reason is because if you just read the Bible, then you're going to rely on your own interpretation to what God is saying because you can read the same scripture 10 times over and you might get five to 10 different interpretations of what maybe God was saying and, and all of them might actually be wrong. And that's why God needs to have prophets on this earth. Why? Because he speaks through his servants, the prophets. So God does nothing before he's first speaking through his servants, the prophets. So the prophets take the written word and expand upon it because one well, that the prophet but God uses them speaks to them and then when he speaks to them he all he speaks specifically about scriptures that are written and then these scriptures begin to come to life and you're like well, oh I get what God was saying in that scripture so the prophetic helps give a better illustration or under understanding of the written word so that's why the prophecy and pro prophets are so important and then the third thing, which God has, I believe, anointed me to do, to understand the calculations of time, because the calculations of time further validate what is written and then the prophetic. And the calculations right now, or for, for quite a long time now, the calculations are lining up with the written and the prophetic, which means that the calculations are of God. And so all of this is happening right in front of us. So like right in front of you, you're looking at the word, you know, the number 6666. Like what does that stand for? Six years, six months, six weeks, six days. What does that stand for, Noah? Right? Like people are like, what does that mean? Hmm. I wonder. You see, if things are random in the world, then there'd be no symmetry with anything. And all these, everything would just happen randomly so people that think that the future like tomorrow's random um then can you please explain to me so those that think that there is no god or let's say they believe there's a higher power but let me ask those you believe there's a higher power okay my simple one question to you is this the eclipse of 2017 when it started to the to exact day it started 2017 to the eclipse that's going to happen here on the 8th of april Okay, if you do the math calculations between the start of that one and the day and the start of this one, the day it crosses, it's six years, six months, six weeks, and six days. Hmm. If you think that's random, I, I don't know what planet you live on. Okay, <laughs> but there's there's absolutely zero 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 possibility that that is random. Why? Because the possibilities is beyond it's 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 not possible that's all i can say it's absolutely impossible so for that to be happening it must be by design i'm going to repeat that the only way that can happen is it's by design which means that there was a creator who created that to happen how awesome is our god yeah, and you know, all the, we got this eclipse. You've got all the other, you know, we've talked in the past about the blood moons and all of these things. Uh, and you know, the Bible even tells us that these things are put up there for um, times and seasons, and also for signs. And you know, it just it's 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 so interesting to me because it's it's like it's the one area, you know, God put it up there in the sky where it can't really be corrupted and can't really be uh, changed or altered. He, he throws them up there and and we're forced to look at them and we can come to any conclusion we want about them. But the fact is they're up there and they're pretty stunning. Well, think about it. So, so a psychic will tell you, oh, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. Why don't you ask? Like, I just love giving this analogy, right? Because the prophetic is God speaking through people. The psychic are basically demonic entities speaking through people. Okay. So just understand from the psychic perspective, Ask a psychic, how did this happen? How did, how, who exactly arranged all of these events in the seven year window to manifest that in the heavenlies, this is happening on 
this math. It's not possible. The, I'm just trying to prove and show the world through the math. I'm not using people say, oh, the Bible's written, blah, 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 how many times over? I don't care. Because in every single version of the Bible, this math is six, 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 six. It, it doesn't change. See, the, the math is perfect. And that's what I want people to understand. When you understand the magnitude and the power of math, you can't break the truth. And the truth is what? God the Father is the creator of all things. His, at his right hand is his son, Jesus Christ. And he speaks through us here through the Holy Spirit. So it is the Trinity. And this is just a very simple example of how all the pieces are come, are come together. Why? Because it's all by the hand of God. And then when you read Luke 21, 25 through 28, it says, there shall be signs in the, in the sun and in the moon. Lift up, lift up your head because your redemption draws nigh. You see, we are in end times. But, but I was the, probably the first person when Corona came on scene, I don't think there's anybody. No, I don't think there is anybody in January 2020 saying that the beginning of the end just started. But I had a website seven years earlier called Gold 2020 Forecast. And in January 2020, I think I went on your show. For sure, I went on Greg Hunter's show. And I said, we're about to step. We're stepping right now into a new era in time, January into February here. And then the markets collapsed in uh, in March. And then in April, oil went to negative $30 a barrel. And, uh, and Corona's on the scene. Everybody's masked up. And then finally, like in the past couple of years or a year, people are saying, oh, I think, you know, we're, I think we're in end times now. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. I mean, just absolutely crazy. Our guest today is Bo Polney, and he is the analyst of time. Well, Bo, I have so many uh, follow-up questions, I, so many different directions I want to <laughs> take this in. But let's talk about the, more about the eclipse in just a moment. But since we have this up on the screens here still, that You've got the White House in red crumbling behind there. And it just reminds me of uh, Kim Clement and that very famous prophecy that he had. I think he said pandemonium in the White House, confusion in the White House. And all of that is part of this, probably one of his most famous prophecies where you just you, he goes through the seasons and he starts with spring, summer, winter, fall. And we've ever since he gave that back in, I think it was 2013, maybe 2011, We've been waiting to see which year that is going to be. And boy, it sure feels like 2024 is the year when we see all of those seasons play out. But uh, maybe you can speak to that a little bit more about your slide here on page one and then or, or Kim Clement. Well, again, see, uh, it's all a matter when you do the timing, like we, we've talked before, where there's there's two numbers that are global, very powerful numbers, actually three numbers and I'll, I'll give you these three numbers the first number is number 400 it's, it's very powerful because that describes the length of time israel was in bondage okay the next very powerful number would be the number 50 because that talks about leviticus thou shall consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants and then the last number which is really an end times number is the number seven and that's the, the written all over uh, in in the prophecies of daniel so those three numbers are probably the, the 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 critical numbers and the key numbers that i use for pretty much you know all of my calculations and the number seven is the one that can be broken down the most and uh, to really uh, fine tune the, the calculations and so why I'm saying that is if when you pull up the slides and you really look at like the long-term patterns, what have we said? We said the Mayflower landed in 1620. So if you go to page 28, you'll see the Mayflower landed 1620. If you run 400 years, guess what year you get to? 2020. Mm -hmm. And repeat that. The Mayflower landed November 21, so but more important, November of 20, 1620, 400 years takes you to November 2020. Noah, what happened in November of 2020? Yeah, well, <laughs> if, if I say, I, I don't think we'll be allowed to post this on YouTube, but I think we all know. <laughs> yeah, but we do know that there was an election. We can yes, say we that do. word. Yes, we okay? do. Okay, so we know that there was an election in the year 2020, in the month of, huh, November. What a coincidence. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because that was a very important time point for the world. Now, if you also study <clears throat> the timelines of Daniel, it says it shall be, I think it's the Daniel, I forget the scripture, but it's Daniel 2, or I forget the scripture, but it says it shall be for a times, times and a half a time. 
So if you do times times and a half a time from November of 16, November of 2020, guess where you land? May 2024. Mm -hmm. People, you need to write down the month of May 2024 because God said in his word, it shall be. It could be good. It could be evil. But it shall be. Or at times, times, and a half a time. When Christ was on this earth, it was good. It was really good. But when we got baptized, it was three and a half years. It was for times, times, and a half a time. Are you with me? So what have we, uh, let's just leave it at, we know what happened, you know, in, in November of 2020. And it, that will be, it will be for a times, times, and a half a time which takes us to May 2024. And today is March. So today is March 20th, May 21. If we just use that number, we're literally looking at March, April, May. That's 60 days, right? Mm -hmm. To about that time point. So between now and then, oh my God will be stated throughout the world mm, mm. we well, don't know the day or the hour god will strike because if we knew the exact day and hour god would strike then the evil would try to bring on what's called a counter offensive to prevent god's perfect timing mm -hmm, so right. but but we know we can calculate the season we can calculate when this could all likely go down but we won't know the day or the hour because it's actually it says in matthew three times no one knows the day or the hour christ returns the other slide I wanted to get to is page 38. Page 38 talks about the second number, 50. And the second number, 50, is really about the Jubilee. Was it say, thou shalt consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants. Okay, so please remember that scripture as we talk through this presentation because now we're getting into some real specifics. So now we just need to find dates and time points as, as starting points and then that's going to take us forward <clears throat> into what's about to happen. So if we're to consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants, then we need to find out key events that happened 50 years ago. So if you go to page 33, this is really incredible because on page 33, I was digging for this and I finally, finally, finally found the actual, because it was, it was all over the place. No, you couldn't find the actual date. And then I finally found the New York Times article. I ordered the article from the New York Times. Mm. And it arrived, and look at this, at the very top there in red box, the New York Times, the petrodollar contract was signed with Saudi Arabia and the United States. So that was the, this is the money system that we've used to basically control and enslave humanity and all bribes and payoffs to fund wars. So that contract, when we moved away from God's money, this, this petrodollar contract was signed on June 9th. 1974. Well, that's interesting because if you run 50 years forward from that date, that takes you to this June 9th, 2024. And what does Leviticus say? We are to consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants. <clears throat> now, the other last one I want to point out to you is that slide below that is page 34. If you go to page 34, what was the last number? We had 400, we had 50, and then we had number seven. So let's look at seven years. So Noah, the six-day war was, well, six days, right? It ended on the seventh, and you know, you're supposed to work for plow their fields for six years or six days and you rest on the seventh. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you run the six-day war, it ended on, hmm, when did the six-day war end? June 9th, hmm. 1967. Seven years to the exact day the petrodollar contract was signed. Mm. Wow. So if you want to, if, if the viewers out there still think that life is random, you need to do some math. You need to read the Bible to explain to me exactly how these events are happening from the six day war and ending to the petrodollar contract being signed to the exact day. 50 years forward, we're going to see his history unfold itself between now, the 20th of March, into June 9th. 
And that's why when you go all the way back to page one, what did I say? You look at the title. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Between what? March now into June, specifically June 9th. Mm -hmm. So we are going to see the great unraveling because why? Because I know one thing for sure, for certain, God's word will not come back void. God doesn't lie. He's not a liar. He can't lie. And so if he says to consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land, um, it's going to happen. And even the slide below that, right? We had Roe v. Wade became overturned. Roe v. Wade was overturned and in the 49th year. Now, this is critically important because if we overturned Roe v. Wade, we just fulfilled Second Chronicles. God's very specific. He, if he give us, there is one scripture that I'm very aware of. It's an if then statement. It's like when you write, you know, when, you, when the analysts write charts, right? If this happens, then that would happen. Or then, then you expect this to happen, right? But Second Chronicles is very straightforward. If then, if my children who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, mm -hmm. did we do it? Yes, we did. Don't tell me we didn't turn from wicked ways. God. God was upset with us when we were killing his creation. We, as a nation, turned from our wicked ways. We overturned Roe v. Wade. We just fulfilled the if part. If my children who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I've stated this before in podcasts. I'm stating it again. We just completed the if part. And therefore, we get to the then. The then is God's part. Then we will hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins. God will forgive our sins and do what? He will heal our land. So that is why I'm telling you, because of the overturning of Roe v. Wade, because of the Six-Day War, because of, because of the calculations laid out in Leviticus, because of the petrodollar contract, because of the 50-year jubilee, because of all the math calculations that are precisely written in the Bible, all I know is that my God is not a liar. He cannot lie. And the word is true. The word is he is going to step in on the United, you know, into the United States to, to cause chaos. In other words, to take down Babylon. And this would then be a redo of what happened at with Israel and Pharaoh. Because what happened there? They were Israel's in bondage for 400 years and back to the cycle of time. We have been Mayflower landed 400 years ago so the math is the math and the math is perfect so all you, you when you read the scriptures you take the pull the math out of it and the math that we pull out of the scriptures is screaming fasten your seat belts yeah Bo. uh going back to kim clement um just listening to you talk there through all the different upcoming months you know we've, we've been watching for when that year that he talked about was going to be um and in fact, I, I wrote about it here recently. Let me see if I can share my screen. Here we go. There's actually a new video up um, that I, I put. I'll put this link down below the video where you can watch this and you can hear him talk about all these things where he talks about strange July, strange July, hypnotic November. So just curious to get your thoughts, Bo. Do you think this is finally the year that we see all that play out. All those slides you just showed me feel like they're all centering on 2024. You know, there was the possibility we could have seen it last year because of because of Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. But then the revelation I just received was, no, it was, it, Roe v. Wade was, was a piece of the puzzle, but actually the, the, the completion to the puzzle was the petrodollar contract. You mm -hmm. see, what they did was, and that's why it would make sense that I will agree with what what you're saying on that is is I believe we're we're going to all watch this manifest right here right now this year is because of Roe v. Wade and then secondly is because of what's on page 37. So if you read page 37, we can go through that. But page 37 really talks about the the cup being full. Not only do we turn from God and He turn from us, or most of we turn from Him. He loves us. We turn from Him. So because of what we're doing with the children, then we move away from his money. So he gave us honest ledger. He gave us gold and silver. Next, and take us off the gold standard in 71, where we think we're more intelligent, we're smarter. So we create the petrodollar contract, which has nothing to do with God's money, Haggai 2.8. So then we use this petrodollar to do what with? Well, we can make as much as we want of it because it's not attached to gold. So we can make as much money as we want. And so, and we can deceive the world that, hey, it's, is backed by a commodity oil, okay, but it's not in our country, it's at a different country. So 
We've got a petrodollar contract with out of another country, which is crazy. And then we use this money to do what with? Buy and pay off everybody. Look what happened in our world. It's so obvious now. Look at the, you know, turn the TV on. Watch it. Look what's going on. With the, look, look what the politicians are saying. Turn the TV on. Look what's going on in the schools. Turn the TV on. Look what's going on with the financial system. You know, it, it, it just... All they do, uh, turn the TV on, look, oh, we, we know what happened in November of 2020. My point is, anywhere you look, all you see is complete and utter corruption. And what do they use? The money supply, mm -hmm. right? L look at the wars. Look at the wars. What do they fund the wars with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dollar. What do, they, what do they fund the wars with, right? Go to page 31. This is so exciting. So in other words, finishing on that page that you have right there, the point I wanted to make was, we we took we moved away from God from from with his uh, but with Roe v Wade and then we turned away from God with Roe v Wade and then we turned away from his money that he gave us an honest ledger and we used all that money to completely corrupt and destroy the world. <laughs> Isn't that what happened? Mm -hmm. And then the money goes global, so now it's world reserve currency, full on global money supply. And so what I'm saying is, so the two pieces of that 50 year puzzle, it was started with Roe v Wade in '73 and it ends with a petro contract in June. Uh, of, in June of 74, which then takes us to January of 2023, completing in June of 2024. So there, so to fulfill, to have you know, give you back to your question about the Kim Clement prophecies, yes, we're in that time now because we use, these are the two instruments that we use to turn from God. Mm. Oh, interesting. And I want to uh, talk about this as well too, because, so I've been on your show, and what do we say? You know, we, we we were on your show before even the war started, and we said on your show, watch, don't be surprised if a war breaks out mm -hmm. in October, in the first week of October, because the Yom Kippur War was in 73 October. Mm -hmm. And what do we say on your show? Don't be surprised. And then on a couple of our podcasts, I said, you know, there's a very high probability we're going to have a war break out around the 6th or, I think it was the 6th or 7th. Uh, because that would end, and that was specifically leading into what's called the uh, last day of tabernacles. And boom. And why would it happen then? Because we, we read Leviticus, right? The 50th year. So these events that are happening are, what I'm saying is it's screaming and it's confirming the 50th year jubilee. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So in other words, these time points are truly critical to to have happen on these, on these specific time points. So when you look at October 6th of 73, that's when it started. If you go to the next page, uh, so there, there's, there are four critical dates that I had written there. What I want to illustrate is on every single one of those dates, we had an event happen in 2023. And the only one missing still is the one in 2024. Mm. So we had the war broke out to the exact date. And then on the 26th to the exact day, U.S. bombed Syria. And then on November 11th, relative to 73, last year, November 11th, 300 people called for a ceasefire agreement. And then the last date there is May 31, 74, which means that by this May 31, so do not be surprised if the wars suddenly come to an end and matching what happened in 74. And how could that possibly happen? Hmm collapse of the world reserve currency that funds the war just guessing mm. wow <clears throat> well you you have been calling for collapse of the u.s dollar for several years now and you, it, initially you were the only one and then now it's like everyone uh, says well yeah of course that it's looking pretty bad um yeah. so that's just another <clears throat> one that looks like it's just on the edge of of coming to pass yeah, we, we since we didn't since seventy since I'm sorry twenty twenty one August on that exact day um, this, uh, Nixon took us off the gold standard fifty years to the exact day. So again, another it's it's confirming the fifty year cycle. We we abandoned Kabul, and nine days later, their petrodollar contract that we have with the Saudis, the Saudis end up turning and signing a contract or a military agreement with Russia nine days later. So ever since, so since August, September of 2021, I've been on your show and every show screaming the US dollar is set to collapse in the next two to three years. And now we're watching it all manifest. And now it's all over mainstream media. Or a lot of not, not they're, they're not mainstream media is not fully talking about it. But if you look for it, you can find it. All it talks about the bricks and everything else too. 
And that further expands upon the Kim Clement prophecy of the brothers of Goliath, who are the bricks, standing glee, and they were about to cripple the United States. And so uh, we're about to see uh, the destruction of the world reserve currency, and they were, and that means the, the ruining of our credit system. Yep. So we're stepping into that. And if we head all the way to page 16, uh, let's look at current month. The current month we're at here is March. And today's a very special day because today is the first day of spring. Yesterday was a very special day because last year to the exact day, Kent Christmas had a prophecy and it was very specific. And he said, in the next seven days, I'm going to hit a mortal wound to your enemies in the United States that they will not be able to recover from. So was Kent Christmas speaking about this year because everybody thought it was last year. It never happened. And so, and he never said in the in that prophecy a year. I find it fascinating that in the next seven days we're now stepping into spring, which is today, uh, and then this weekend is Purim. Hmm, what happened at Purim? Mm-hmm. That's a big everything, one. Everything changed, right? And then coming into Monday, the twenty fifth, you've got uh, specifically you've got a, a blood moon, uh, and that is again a potential uh, calculation point for uh, the start of the year twenty twenty four. So all of these things are lining up beautifully. And the, and the fascinating part of this, based on the Julian calendar, we could actually have Passover beginning this next week. Not this week, and next weekend. After, so after the weekend of Purim, based on the Julian calendar, not the Hebrew calendar. Hebrew calendar has Passover in April. Okay, And that still is game on for that one, too. So don't let's not put that aside. But from a, a Julian calendar perspective, we actually could have it this week next weekend which is perfectly lining up with resurrection because jesus would have had to die on the die on the cross on thursday nissan would that would be julian calendar again julian nissan 15 would be the 28th of march he would be in the tomb for three days and three nights that would mean resurrection sunday and then we have good friday and the reason there's no there's no reason friday should be called good People need to really think about the lies that you're being fed, right? All these people globally celebrate Good Friday. Why? Jesus was just killed. The only person celebrating was Satan and all those working for him. That's why they called Friday good. Right. Get it? Right. And it wasn't good until he rose from the dead. That's when it was good. It was beyond good. It was extraordinary. Okay, it was the greatest victory, but there's nothing good about Friday. But I just go like off the side there, but I want people to understand how you're being lied to just with the use of words. Yeah, and and you know we hear these words our whole lives, but we never stop to think about them or ask questions. Absolutely, like think about why would why are words why are certain words saying certain things, and they you know ultimately what happens is. Evil wants the globe to celebrate the death of Jesus. So if you're celebrating Good Friday, you're celebrating evil killing Jesus. Mm. It doesn't get good until resurrection, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. Man, the apostles, he told the apostles, I will rise on the third day. But trust me, they all forgot. Mm. They didn't realize until the third day. Oh, yeah, he did say that. And he rose on the third day. When he was dead, everybody fled. Mm -hmm. You got to go back and read what what happened. This these are things these are going down. And then so again, okay, back to the prophetic word of Kim Clement. What Kim was basically he stated very clearly uh, in the prophetic word uh, was that uh, in reference to the resurrection, what he said was that there will be a sign, and the sign is resurrection, mm -hmm. resurrection. To unlock the treasure chest Everybody listen What is inside The treasure of the Lord Listen now Resurrection Listen to me Resurrection And miracles like you never what he was saying was that look for the sign. What's the sign? 
And the sign, he said it twice, resurrection, resurrection. So what I'm trying to illustrate is that God is about to do something. We don't know the day or the hour, but resurrection is a very, very powerful, powerful time in the world. Why? Because Jesus conquered evil destroyed evil and became the final Adam. So that just happens to be the last day and the last Sunday and the last day of March. Yeah. So I, I, no one knows how this is going to go down, but I'm telling you, be, all the calculations I did earlier to show you, uh, you, you know, you know, but basically your viewers to have them understand the magnitude of the timeline that we are in right here right now uh so and there was another prophetic word from january 21st god's going to intervene and start they're going to start seeing change upon the world in 70 days mm. i saw a python and god said between the 70 and 100 days it shall begin it, the strangulation and the destruction of this will begin and it is going crazy it is manifesting throughout America because it is dying. Now you may not understand spiritual warfare and Diablo and Satan, Satan and demons and darkness, but it waits for an attraction. It waits for an invitation. And as I've said, there's been great division. But also it was spoken of that beginning January 21st, there would be a period in between 70 and 100 days the spirit of Pythos will be destroyed if the people act accordingly. What you're seeing in America, maybe you call it terrorist, maybe you call it just incidents, it's not. This spirit is dying and doing its utmost to destroy as many states as possible. Make its mark. It'll be, it'll be leaving and we'll show that to you today. I'm not going to do anything more until we've, we come to this altar today. I wore this purposefully. It's the gold. And I'll explain that in a few minutes because he spoke to me about watching the gold as a sign. From January 21, 70 days. You know what it is, Noah? Got to be close to now. Resurrection. Exactly. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. He stated in 70 days from January 21st. I'm, and you, listen. And that calculation lines on exactly resurrection. So something biblical is afoot, and that takes us to the next page. Seven days later to eight days later is the eclipse. And this thing is crazy. Well, and the eclipse is crazy because, like I said, you know, if you understand the math, from when the first eclipse happened on August 21st, it's six years, six months six weeks and six days and then it's going to make that cross formation and then it's going to fulfill uh exodus 4 8 4 8 april 8th it says if you do not believe you will pay attention to the first sign then there will be a second hmm. what a coincidence <laughs> right and this is the part now okay if that was if all the information we haven't covered is not wild enough look at what's happening right now so let's read jonah 3 4. now noah you know we've spoken and we were friends speaking of when oil went to negative 38 dollars a barrel correct mm -hmm. okay so you remember those podcasts of four years ago oh yeah of course okay so we've spoken about that and, I, and basically what do we say when oil went to negative 38 dollars a barrel i believe it was the 21st of april or 20th of April, we supposed to count 40 days forward. And 40 days forward, it took us to what day? May 31. On May 31, what do we have? The George Floyd riots break out, and we have peace taken from the earth, and we have Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because that next day, rioting in Paris, rioting in Europe, global rioting uh, manifested right after that date, May 31. Why I make reference to that is because I want to state so people understand. Remember we talked about what happened? in 2020 okay so we're stepping into the great undoing and the great redo <laughs> i like the sound of that okay so it's the undoing of what was done since 2020 21 and then the great redo so it's a do-over 
a yeah. do over. Okay. <laughs> so now, so what, so what, this is the revelation I just received. So if you run the Noah cycle, 40 days and 40 nights, that took you to Pentecost from oil going to negative $38 a barrel. God said very clearly, that is a sign. Oil going to negative $38, the petro dollar contract. Remember we talked about the petro dollar. Mm -hmm. So that is a marker or more. It was a sign. So if you run the sign, you end up 40 days and 40 nights. And we talked about what happened with the George Floyd riots and oil going to negative $30. And then George Floyd riots, Pentecost and peace taking from the earth. 30 days before that, remember this one? Before the George Floyd riots, you had Edenville Dam break in the township of Hope, Michigan. Mm -hmm. 30 days exactly from oil going to negative 38. And then 10 days later, you had the George Floyd riots manifest and everything changed in our world. Okay, so let's run the exact same cycle because we're going to do a redo that leads to the undo. Mm -hmm. So the redo is the Jonah sign. The Jonah 3, 4 says in 40 days, 40 days forward, 40 days forward from the revelation from, from April 8th is May 18th. Okay. Now, I want to show you one more math calculation if you go to page 27. Okay. And then we can start wrapping it up here. Um, if you go to page 27, page we, we've talked about the great exodus. What is the what was the this is the called the Red Sea miracle? What was the great exodus? What was the Red Sea miracle? It was when God used Israel as bait, take them to the two at the Red Sea. They they were bait. It got Pharaoh to get out of Egypt allowing God to destroy Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And what what happened? Pharaoh chased Israel into the Red Sea and then Pharaoh closed was it God closed the the sea on Pharaoh's head and his army and Israel was free and Pharaoh was and his army and his kingdom or so his kingdom was destroyed. Mm -hmm. So now understand that moment in time. So now we're going to do a little more math here. If you read Exodus, and this is in Exodus 14, Exodus 12, I did all the math calculations. Those that want to verify the bottom left corner, it says it says Exodus timeline link. You don't have to click it, but it's all in there. Mm -hmm. And that specifically says it took Israel 18 days to get to the Red Sea after Passover. They camped at the Red Sea for eight more days, and they crossed on the 25th day. Mm. Now, Remember we no, so remember the remember the number twenty five. If you and if we go to page twenty six, so uh, this actually no page page twenty four. Page twenty four. So you got Passover, Passover on the Hebrew calendar. If you're going to run the Hebrew calendar here, it would be April twenty second. If you're going to run twenty one days forward, guess what day you land on? May eighteenth. Mm. Remember the Jonah sign? Go back mm -hmm. up one page of 25. You're on 40 days from the Jonah sign. It is May 18th. Well, just please understand what I'm showing is the math is perfect. It's not possible, and yet it's happening right in front of us. And then to put a cherry on top of that, what on the so remember we're, we're redoing. Oil going to negative $38 a barrel and the 40-day cycle. Mm -hmm. But that 40-day cycle ended on what? It ended with the George Floyd rise. But why Why the George Floyd rise break out? Because that was Pentecost. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to do a redo and an undo, it would mean that May 18th-ish, within 24 hours, would have to be Pentecost. Well... Go to page 26. May 18th, the evening of into the next day is Pentecost. That's crazy. So 30 days from Jonah sign is May 8th. So May 6, 7, and 8, people, you better fasten your seatbelts. Because <laughs> <laughs> all I know is something's about April, now... A April, May, uh, and so March, April, May, 
all of this is heading into um, you know victory, full on victory, or huge, huge events are going to transpire into that petrodollar contract of June 9th to fulfill the Leviticus cycle to proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all of its inhabitants. So between uh, so then 30 days and then 40 days would be judgment on all of those who went against God. So this is the great this is the great judgment on them. So this will be the great undoing or the great redoing. Well, Bo, absolutely chocked full of dates in March, April, and May. Um, Going to be a wild time coming up. Uh, you know, this. I, I want to get. I want to wrap up here and get to crypto for a little bit because people want to know what's coming next. But just before I get off of the screen here on this eclipse, um, and people may know about it already. I know we've covered it before. I'll, I'll put a link to our article down below this video too. But um, this e this eclipse is just wild. You've got it on your screen here. Um, you've drawn it out, but so it. We had one back in 2017, like you've been talking about, and then we have this new one coming up in April of 2024. So seven years apart. There's your seven again, and it creates this. And, well, actually, seven years apart, but it's actually precisely six six years, six months, six weeks, and six days, getting close to seven. But that that's the that's a quadruple sixes right there. Oh, right, and, but right. Th but then there's sevens all over it with regard to Salem and Nineveh. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that's that's the next part. And you've, you've got it listed here. But just for the people who are listening or who don't know, in 2017, this path of the eclipse that you're showing on the screen here, it passed over seven towns or cities in the United States that are all named Salem. And so that's strange. And uh, but then so then you think, OK, well, then anything weird in, in the new one coming up next month it does the same thing. It goes in a different direction and it crosses over seven cities in the United States that are named Nineveh. Now, what's crazy to me about that is a couple things. One, I didn't know we had a single town or city in the United States named Nineveh. I mean, I've only ever heard that name in the Bible. So um, apologies to the seven sit cities in the United States that are named Nineveh, but I did not know you existed. Uh, the other thing is there's exactly seven. There's not more than seven. There's not less than seven. There's seven total, not just in this path of the eclipse, but only seven in the United States total. And they all happen to be in this path. I mean, just wild stuff. Um, and I mean, we're just barely scratching the surface with those details, but those alone are enough. Look at the bottom left corner, finish through that one. That's what God showed me just last week. Uh, sure. So ex exactly seven months from this upcoming eclipse in April. Uh, which is on April 8th, 2024, is uh, the November uh, election in 2024. So um, there's another seven for you. And it just seems to be, I mean, literally marking an X on the map, but seems to be marking an X for us to pay attention to. Um, I don't know the last time I've seen something like this that's just so wildly strange and obvious that it's just screaming out that you really better take notice of it. Yeah. Yeah, this this is stepping us into the, the great shaking. You see, that's why this I I label this the great shaking, because this leads to um the great shaking. Because what is the bride and the church asleep? You see, the only way you can wake people up is you shake them awake. When you're if everybody's in bed sleeping, uh, when an earthquake hits and it knocks you out of your bed, it'll shake you awake. Mm -hmm. And that is what's about to happen. See that the God God the Father. Um, we know we've turned from our wicked ways. We've overturned Roe v. Wade. We're now going to complete 50 years with with a petrodollar contract. So now we're getting into a biblical time here of you know of of glory or a, a window of divine favor because we're stepping into that. Remember, we have the fulfillment of the Bob Jones prophecy. This is so. See, all the pieces are coming together because the Bob Jones prophecy was very specific. It said after the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. After they win the Super Bowl, we're stepping into the greatest revival in human history. So what does that mean? It means this, which will then lead to the billion soul harvest. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have a billion soul harvest unless people are shaken awake. How do you shake them awake? Well, you have a financial collapse. Uh, people are freaking out about the finances. Banks get closed. Because what's a jubilee? Ba debt destruction. So you're going to have debt destruction, banks shutting down, people losing everything. And then the earth is shaking, ground shaking, volcanoes popping off, right? So where the, the first earthquake, uh, the first 
eclipse came through Portland, okay? So don't be surprised if San Francisco, Portland area get hit with a big, big earthquake, big shaking. And this is expected. Why? Because God needs to shake people awake so we start turning away from the foolishness that we've been doing here for the past four years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's complete and utter foolishness. So the shaking is necessary for the awakening. And the awakening is when you lose everything or people are freaking out of what, you know, what's going on in the world, you either curse God or you find God. But in, in order for you to find God, most of the time you got to go low to go high. And, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, and so, that's good. So people are going to lose a lot, lose everything. These will be the best of times and the worst of times. You know, it must happen because this is about saving. This is not about your bank account, people. This is about saving souls. God wants you to reside with him for all eternity. Why? He loves you. He made you. He's your father. Back to he's the creator. Back to how we started this whole story. You know, see how the numbers are all lining up? The numbers prove and show you there is a creator of all of this. Look at the eclipse you're looking at. That shows you there's a creator of all of this. None of this is random. You think people uh, ha ha haphazardly just uh, name cities, seven cities, Nineveh, name seven cities, Salem, and all that. None of this is random. It's all by design because the creator thinks his level of thought process is magnitudes, magnitudes higher than anything we could ever, ever comprehend. And you cannot stop what's coming. You can't stop Revelation because we're in it. Uh, you know, tr uh, 45 is going to come back to rebuild after the destruction. But he comes back to rebuild because, you know, when you read Isaiah 45, Isaiah 45, what, what, num what present number is he? 45. It says, I will make his way straight. Notice they've been going at him and God just keeps making his way straight. It really he will is. Re he, will re he will rebuild my cities. So it's, it's what's written. He will rebuild my cities and set the captives, his children, the world free. And so that's what's coming. You can't stop what's coming. No one can stop what God has ordained. And just like these, what we're showing you with the eclipses, and with the eclipse and the eclipses, there's more. I got more stuff as well, too. There's stuff in my book that I, that I um, just, just, just released that's all talks about timelines into the future. And it's so exciting of, of what's coming upon this world. But you can't stop what's coming and what's going to happen. So you have free will to choose Jesus or not choose Jesus. But he is a truth, the way, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. And so this is where free will comes in. And God is showing the world right now signs. And next comes shaking. Yeah, Bo, that, that's really good. I, I want to talk about your book in just a second. And then I want to wrap up because people will be really mad at me if I don't ask you what's coming next in crypto. And I know you have a lot of thoughts on that. Uh, but uh, real quick, uh, I just threw this up on the screen because you just asked me who, you know, 45, who's 45? And it just reminded me, and I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, everyone can draw their own conclusion. But um, I don't know if you've seen him wearing this hat. But when you put a dash like that, do you see the dash? 45 dash 47. What what is the what would the dash mean versus what would a comma mean? Right, it'd be all the way through. It's all, all the, the way, way through. through. All the way through. All the way right? through. Yeah, I, I'm just going to leave that there. But uh, anybody, that's that is that's the hat that he wears. That's not edited. If you wanted to say you were you were number forty five and you're going to be number forty seven, you'd put a comma. Uh, anyway, just found that very fascinating. You just it you just made me think of it when you said that, Bo. So that's a that's a freebie for everyone out there. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> uh, all right, let me go, Bo, real quick. Um, uh, you mentioned, and I I just found out about this by uh, I saw you posted it on Twitter. Um, but tell me about this. You got a book coming out. Yeah, so I've had so many people email me over the past year or two saying, oh, you know, you talk about, you know, this part or that part, but there's nowhere, like, where do I get all your information? It's just, there's so much you talk about, but is it organized, structured? And so I sat down with the publicist maybe six, to nine months ago, and we've been putting this together of all my information and basically sticking it all into a book within, and then it's all written out, explaining all the slides and 
it is just a, a, it's an incredible piece that we put together and the publicists were just like i can't believe how incredible all this is coming together so anyways it, it finally is coming to be um the, it is available now on my website uh you can pre-order it if you use there's a code triple sevens uh that you can use and you'll save 30 percent uh and if you're one of if you do that i think you're one of the first 300 you'll get a you get the 30 percent discount and secondly um, by doing that, you'll get it as soon as it's released in April. Uh, and those that don't do the pre-release might have to wait May or June or July to be able to get the book. So uh, so if you want to get it uh, in, and be the first to get it here in April, you want to pre-order it. Uh, and um, it is uh, it takes you from uh, creation, like we talked about, from, from the creation, from Adam and Eve, and it takes you all the way to Revelation, which we're in right now, uh, right to right down to, you know, the a potential time point where we could see Christ return until we talk about aliens in the book and you know the L like we've talked about so the aliens are covered in the book we even make reference to the rapture we, we all the time windows explaining time from, from old into the future into the end of days so people can really have an understanding and most importantly have peace on their heart knowing that God is running the show on all of this and i think this pre presentation really explained it as well too how there's just so many signs we're seeing and beyond the signs you know the math calculations i can just use the word indisputable when you when you look at the math calculations and i'm showing you this is indisputable how you can how these math calculations are landing on precise time points yeah well very cool i'll, I'll be watching for that and uh, if you want to get that i'll put the link to that down below the video too um, so that's that's kind of definitely big picture. Are you talking about uh, timelines from the beginning to the end? Uh, let's maybe wrap up with uh, timelines in the near term and crypto. Uh, what I know, I know some of it. Yeah, yeah what you want to do is go to that page right there, forty three. What I did this morning before we did this podcast, I took my private subscriber update from yesterday, dated the nineteenth of March, and I basically put it in there for the viewers to view and you know you you got this update yesterday no and when you're looking at it um you know this the the top chart what you're looking at there the top chart is history so god reveal you know so i just know god reveals like certain count um chart patterns the chart pattern at the top is history i don't say when but this is it happened years ago so leave it at that the bottom chart is Bitcoin's price movement present day, going back to actually I think August, uh, September. So we're seeing from from point four, you'll see if you move from left to right, top chart history, bottom chart is presently happening. You'll notice how incredible every single turn we're seeing to within the exact day to within 24 hours, it hasn't missed yet. And so that's how you can see that March 11th in blue there. We also call the January 11th top at point three. You can see that it dropped into January 23rd. And then we basically said from January 23rd, it turns up on the 24th, which is one, two, four. After this, uh, you know, coming up in our future, you've got in here a price drop, a price explosion, a cycle top, and then a big crash. So big, big moves coming up. We do like to be respectful to your paid subscribers. So we don't put everything in there, but you give a lot of it away for free. If people do want to get that, uh, I always like to put this up on the screen so they can find out how to do it. We talked about the story of this earlier today. Now you know what it means. Uh, go to gold2024cast.com and you can uh, sign up for Bo's newsletter if you'd like to get it. Look for, there's a box that says, do you have a code? And uh, you put that in, put in WLT49. It's going to give you 50% off uh, and then you can get that and uh, you can get in there and you can you can fact check us i get fact checked all day long by the fake fact checkers but you guys can be the real fact checkers and you can uh go back and see bo's report from march 8th that we talked about earlier today you can see that he just nailed it perfect and then um you'll get all of his new stuff as well about when do these things up here the price drop the big explosion up the cycle top the big crash and more when do those things happen it's all in bo's report and then really popular recently has been your crypto school, Bo. I, I love telling people about this because it, it helps people and um, some people really need help with this. So if if you're not even ready to figure out how to buy Bitcoin because it's you don't know how or it's intimidating or scary or whatever, you want to get this. You want to go to the easycryptoschool.com and uh, Bo has put together an entire set of modules 
set of training that you can go in and it'll tell you if you don't from from not knowing anything about crypto, it'll tell you how to buy crypto, where to store it, what wallets to use. That was another question that um, I got from people, Bo, and, and you answer it in the school. So you can go to easycryptoschool.com. And again, there's a button there. It says, do you have a code or do you have a discount or whatever? Look for that box and put in WLT49 and you'll get 50% off there too. Totally at your own pace. You can go at your own pace. You can uh, um, go fast or go slow through those trainings but it's, it's all in there for you if you need it. So Bo, I, I uh, appreciate your time coming on. I always like to give you the last word and you always have a good one. So why don't you take us out with uh, the final word? We're at a very powerful time point and we don't know exactly how this is all gonna play out, but we do know that we are at a, such a time point between now, we got so many biblical time points coming on from Purim this weekend, then we got resurrection weekend coming up which is a weekend after that then we got we got potential two time points for passover uh then after that we got pentecost there are so many feasts that are on our world in the next 60 days it's crazy and we when you go back and study scripture all we know is that god always not some he always if you if god were to ever intervene on the world he always intervened on his appointments his appointed times and his appointment times or his appointed times are what i just referenced so um and then we have this huge sign here on the 8th of april and the calculations for it are all screaming things are about to go down as we head into the month of may so fear not when it goes down when these things happen don't fear no god is in complete control of the globe of the world but you still need to be wise you need to have some food some water you need to know jesus because if you know jesus then none of this is scary because god's making a way for his bride we're going to see fulfillment of prophecies of old we're going to see incredible prophecy fulfillment starting this year it's going to be incredible but this year will be the absolute best of times because god's going to move upon this world. This will be the best of times the world has ever seen in the worst of times this world has ever seen. So it all depends on do you stand and are you on Team Jesus? And I really pray everybody is, and I truly hope that they find, find Christ through all of this. So thank you, Noah, for having me here. That's a good last word. Our guest has been Bo Polney, and we'll have you back on again soon, Bo. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Bo Polney, and after thousands of requests, this is my official announcement. This is a heads up and a first glimpse of what I have been working on. I have been working on a book. This book is a prophetic understanding of God's perfect timing from creation to his return. It's going to be explosive. This is the first book I've ever written, and it will explain and illustrate with beautiful full color graphics of God's timing of events into the end of the age, the end of days. After reading it, you will want to keep this beautiful book on your coffee table and share it with all of your friends and family. I'm telling you, it is amazing and you're going to love it. This book is going to open your eyes to the present day events and how they are occurring with mathematical perfection as they directly fulfill events prophesied in Revelation over 2,000 years ago. God speaks through his word. We know that. He also speaks through his servants, the prophets. And yes, he does speak through numbers. If you want to see how truly perfect his timing is and the specific calculations he has revealed to me about our future into the end of the age, this book has all the incredible details. Are you ready to see the cover and a glimpse of inside images? Here you go. I doubt there's a book anywhere in the world like this one. It illustrates God's perfect timing from creation to the book of Revelation 
including the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the Seven Seals of Revelation, the Great American Eclipses, the coming Great Egyptian Eclipses, the coming Aliens, yes, we talk about Aliens, the Rise of Antichrist and the Mark of the Beast, the coming Rapture, and all the way to the likely timing of Christ's return, and much, much more. The mathematical calculations are beyond any human probabilities, clearly illustrating the end of days was written from the beginning by the hand of God. This book has a lot of surprises and will open your eyes as to how truly great our God is. I believe it's going to blow your mind and get you excited and prepared for the times ahead. It'll change the way you look at recent events in the world. It'll give you the power and understanding of how long we really have into the end of days and how all things are working together for good. That's why after reading this book, you're going to begin to see how Revelation, like the Bible, is actually the good news as all things are manifesting in His perfect timing. So, how can you be the first to get your very own copy? Well, there's a link below this video. You can be the first to pre-order it and get it as soon as it comes out in April. And if you're one of the first 300 people to pre-order this book, you can receive a 30% discount by simply entering the code 777 at checkout. There's also a link for pre-orders on our website, so be sure to use that discount code. And yes, the book will be available on Amazon, however, no discount will be there. This is Bo Polney. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I know you will love this book. Thank you so much and God bless.